Hi, my name is Vanessa Rogers and I am a competitive bodybuilder. I compete in the figure division. When I was 16 years old, I got into a motor vehicle car accident where I broke my neck in four places, was deemed a complete quadriplegic, I uh, couldn't move anything from my neck down. I ended up getting really, really lucky. Somehow, nerves found pathways around the shredded spinal cord and I was able to start moving my hands and my toes and enough to eventually end up walking with a cane and that's how I get from point A to point B in my regular life. Right now, I am nine days out of competing at the Lou Ferrigno Legacy in Palm Springs, California, in the United States. I'm so excited about that. I actually met Lou Ferrigno in Edmonton when he was doing a motivational speaking seminar and he got one of his guys to pull me backstage and talk to me and he was very adamant about me competing on stage and told me about the venue and said you just have to do it and of course when Big Lou asked you to do something you do it so of course uh, that was my goal I decided okay I'm not gonna have an off season right now I'm just gonna go gung-ho and compete in uh, October 30th 2016. Why get into competitive bodybuilding after I got injured? What made me make that choice? Well, first off, uh, it wasn't because of therapy, because this happened 17 years ago, this happened to me. What happened was that I actually, you know, got older, I got chunky, I didn't like the way that I looked, and I started going to the gym, basically a cardio bunny, and then I started lifting weights. And my mom was my trainer at the time, and she told me that I had the figure to compete. So I said, hey, you know, why not give it a try? There is no division for people with disabilities, so I have to compete against able-bodied girls. I didn't really have a high expectation, but whenever I put my mind to something, I'm very stubborn, and I was gonna give it my all no matter what. So I did my very first competition at Muscle Beach in October of 2013. So now I have been competing in bodybuilding for three years. And from then on, it just spread through my veins like wildfire. I love the reaction that I got from people. I love shocking people that I could walk out on stage in that type of condition with a major disability and it blew everybody's minds and they thought to themselves, really, what's my excuse? Here's some of the things that I find difficult on my journey. Uh, squats. I can't do squats like a normal person. I can't do lunges like a normal person. Any kind of leg exercise is very difficult for me unless I'm really, really stabilized. So do I give up or do I figure out a way to get past it? And so I just modify it. So I do my squats on the Smith machine. I do my walking lunges on an inclined treadmill so that I get the job done and that I can work with those body parts because I'm already at a disadvantage not being able to lift heavy with my legs and not be able to squat deep with my legs. And so when I compete against these able-bodied girls, they are advancing further than me because of legs alone. And so now I have to figure out a way to push myself that much more. So I do absolutely everything I can do to get these legs conditioned. I do my squats, I do my lunges, I do my step mill every day, I train legs and doing leg almost every day. I even asked my trainer to take out one of my rest days and put in a leg day just so that I could get it done and maybe make it a little bit more better for the next time I compete. And you know what? I'm making solid improvements all the way around. I was recently asked, why bother? You're not gonna place anyways. Okay, that was a low blow for sure. Um, and the reason why I wanted to mention that was because maybe other people are thinking that exact same thing. What is the point of you competing in an able-bodied division when you have a clear disadvantage? Well, this is my reasoning. This is my answer to all of those kind of questions. I do it for me. I look in the mirror and that's my competition. I see the solid improvements I'm making from competition to competition, which blows my mind, it blows other people's minds, it encourages other people, it inspires other people to have the attitude like, don't give up on life, don't give up on your dreams because look at what this girl is doing. No matter how much limitations she has to deal with, she's doing it and so that's why I compete. Maybe I won't place and maybe I will, but every competition is making me get further and further and further to that placement, to that number one spot. And yeah, it might take me a little bit longer to get there, but I'm gonna get there. 
everyone has obstacles, whether it's a disability, whether it's a job, whether it's, you know, family time or other different kinds of priorities. You have to make time for something that matters to you. Life is short. That's what I tell everybody. I know what it was like to go from having absolutely everything, my entire future ahead of me, to having absolutely nothing in an instant. And now I live my life like it's my last day every day because I know how valuable life is. And you know, if any of you guys have any questions for me or want some kind of advice or something like that, feel free to email me, feel free to message me. I answer all of them. Uh, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Vanessa Rogers Athlete. You can follow me on Instagram, vanessa.rogers.figure.